Mei Mei? Oh, my boy's back? Yeah. I'm not mad at that. And that just tells me one thing. Kamehameha is on top of this Japan meta, and uh, the player he's going up against is front pan. So there you go. that could kind of be a foretelling to this set here. We'll see what happens. A little though. bit of that crisp foreshadowing, if you will. Oh, yes. Never mad at that. Here we go, guys. Winners, finals underway. I hope you're excited for this one. Mega Man and Duck Hunt. You don't get to say, say that every day. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Two of the I, best I, in the business with those characters. I would not be surprised if, like, 90% of you this is the first time you've ever seen this matchup even being played in Ultimate. <laughs> I'm just giving it real, man. You ain't telling no lies, baby. I can't be mad at you for that. Now, one thing I just saw that was very interesting is the... Uh, Thank you. He, he, you can actually shoot the Crash Bomb at the can, and it just auto-detonates. Kind of like how he used to do that on Luma. Yeah. It's probably still the same thing in this game, but uh, that's a really, really big deal. So, like, when you get a shoot Crash Bomb, it doesn't have to, like, hook onto something and then act, like, wait. Like, if it just purely activates on contact, that move comes so much better. Not about it. We shall see. Ooh, wow. Which projectile, which projectile character will reign supreme? That is... And the thing is, they can both have some pretty heavy, heavy hitters, too. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, for sure. Duck Hunt has... We, we already saw what Duck Hunt can do. We saw the Clay Pigeon into the back air combos or just aerial combos in general. Nice like, coverage. Man. Kamehameha looking very, very comfortable here against this Duck Hunt. No shortage of matchup knowledge. I can tell you that right off a of jump. He's weaving and bobbing around those projectiles up right up until that point. He's weaving and bobbing around them pretty well. Yeah, Mega Man, to note, is one of the few characters that can up beat and then double jump. Yep. So a lot of times you'll see Mega Man go for the up beat. And then the thing, the great thing about up beat is if you get hit out of your up beat, guess what? You get it back, but you don't get that double jump refunded. That's what goes. It's really one of the things that makes character is so dangerous. I mean, it's recovery specialist, if yeah. you will. Oh, oh but, wow. Uh, I can't believe that hit. Yeah, that's a very large hitbox. Man, yeah, that, that, and that's really... Fun fact, too, the more you charge Duck Hunt's uh, smash attacks, the longer range they have. Too. Yep. One of the very few smash attacks that Fair. have that property. But man, I mean, that was such a dominating first stock, and just to see Raido, like, bring it right back just like that, and not even take that much damage, honestly. Yeah, I mean, he's already within 10%. Yeah, that of was Kamehameha, quick. despite being down a considerable amount. Love that anti-air. That was sensational Man. with the up tilt. Look how much positioning he's gaining off of it. I know about that. Oh, dang. We're going to parry all three of the pellets? Man, man. One, two, three. Jeez. And, and that is such a good... Like, being able to deal with the can at mid-range there at such low risk. There's so many other characters that have to put their put themselves in so much more danger to deal with that can, but we see Kameme just casually shooting at it. Yeah. Just like, doesn't have to really risk anything. Shoot or shoot, man. Yeah, exactly. Setting up this saw blade here, going right past the gunman. There's a saw oh, blade wow. in on the up tilt. Wow. That was terrific. Just absolutely no hesitation from Kameme. Big for set, but making the big plays when it counts. Yeah, we actually haven't seen too much of uh, Leaf Shield. Uh, I mean, I know Leaf Shield generally is like one of those tools that you use to like negate pressure. Yeah. So we're, we're definitely seeing more of a projectile war here. But Kamehameha is still opting to use it, getting the salt blade on. Wow, maybe that's why he's not using it. And kind of got rocked <laughs> by the plate. So. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it like it is. Man, 174. Yeah, this guy, he's still living. Oh, dip. <laughs> he had to go, man, he had to it work was so it, hard. It was so hard to just like yeah. fade everything, dude. He's like, left, right, where do I go? And then Kamehameha. Kamehameha just had to get body right there from the floor. Though, but tough. He definitely got a lot of stock value out of that. Man, only 41% on Raido. Not too much, honestly. No, not at all. Just in the uh, percentage war here. Oh, there's Nair. No follow from Raido. Just going to set up shop once again. Man, the gunmen are really out. When you hit a gunman and you like knock them out, they're out for a while in this game. Good. <laughs> all right. Get them the hell out of here. Coming. There's another one. Wait, he's still he's still chilling on the ground. Oh, your legs, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> Boy is just out, <laughs> out like a light. Hey, <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Last stop though is only game number one. <laughs> Certainly been a good one, that's for sure though. Oh yeah, I mean both these players are making such smart decisions. That that's the thing about just when you're playing zoner versus zoner, every little interaction counts, man. It, it really does. And yeah. even just these little interactions of like taking the gunman out for so long. When Kameme hits the gunman, they're out for quite some time. So and he knows he that too. Like, yeah, exactly. He knows like it's easy because like I'm going to go ahead and just neutralize this option and then that's what I'm going to try and press my advantage. We've seen that a lot. But Raido, to his credit, he does a good job of just disengaging and giving himself some safe space. Is that enough? No, the false finish. Didn't think that would close things out just yet. 
man. That Duck Hunt buff on the recovery is so, so clutch. But now Raido trying to bring this back. I mean, honestly, he's brought it back quite some now. Ooh, almost gets the follow-up with the can. He was so close to nailing now. So key. Still anybody's game in this one. There's the gunman, oh, but wow. that shot up. Seldom uses that force, man. Oh, that shield was looking like it was about to break, but the shield poke coming through. Raido, though, getting the... Getting the oh, what? He almost trick shot at him. Damn, bro. <laughs> I wasn't sure which way we was going on that. There's another can with the gunman trying to get this combo attack going. There's the grab from Kameme. Offstage situation here. But the can always there to cover right on those it, it dire just, times. It just forced him off the stage to give himself a little bit more room to work with, but Kameme not being denied. And it took everything, but he able to get that first game. When the Mega Man has the blade in hand, you got to watch out. When he throws it, he has all these confirms. We see the confirm from into the forwarder, into the back air, and we see it even it confirmed from Z drop into like up tilt. It's uh actually crazy how much confirm Mega Man has when the blades in hand. So you really gotta watch it. Raido gonna drop that game number one Kameme going up 1-0 here in winners finals. All right. Woo, Mega Man. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so we'll see if we have a change of scenery or we're just going. Oh, all right, looks FD, like we're I like FD. Yeah. FD. Ain't nowhere to hide here. <laughs> Straight up in your face. Got nowhere to go, boy. I love, like, FD looks so aesthetically pleasing. It's like beautiful. That, that, like, ring of whatever energy, like, it's, I don't know what it is, but. I, yeah, I don't yeah, I feel like it's like the aura from Taboo from Brawl. Like, Ooh. that's what he was dispersed into. Yeah. And now yeah. he lives a life of just powering this beautiful stage. Yeah. I, I heard it's canon. Well, it's canon today, damn it. <laughs> I could write a story arc too. <laughs> wow, the leaf, uh, leaf shield not fully comboing. Wow, not gonna detonate that uh, the can, not moving it. Maybe he thought he would just like hit it. But, and going tick for tack here. All these trades, kind of in Kameme's favor yeah. almost, because I feel like just because he's heavier. Oh, big time, man. Yeah, he's just Especially when you're leading about, thir about like 30%. Oh, man, but uh, Raido, he just knows, bro. And like, those smash so deceptively yeah. long. And he's caught Kamehameha a couple times like that as well. He almost caught him with that super sus DI, bro. <laughs> that was looking like, oh, yeah, <laughs> done. I'm out of here. Done. Yeah. Get me out. <laughs> All right, so Kamehameha trying to get back on stage. Does he have the double jump? Nope, no double. Even if he didn't have it, he was, he was fine. Looks like Raido going high. Wow, you're able to swing an aerial after that up. Yeah, I did not know that. A little poke on the forward tilt there, and Kamehameha will be the one losing that first stock. What a start here from Raido. No doubt about it. Tremendous. But can Kamehameha just kind of minimize it at the very least? I think so. Yeah, there oh, it is, man. Yeah. Clip you up, man. Yeah, that, that back air is still one of Mega Man's best kill moves. So quick. Lasts so long. It's such a good move. Right, by avoiding this gunman, there's a down tilt. Yeah, into those DMs. Yeah. Not bad either. Got over the projectile pressure as well. Oh, wow. Sometimes you just need one bullet, man. Oh, Ooh, the hard knuckle, and there That's, you go. Man, I'm telling you, bro, I saw that connect. I saw that coming from a mile away. And it's cool, you can act out of it, but I feel like Raido didn't know when was the right time. You know what I mean? Like, the, the only chance Raido could have lived is, like, up B into, like, maybe drop down instantly to try to, like, bounce off the rush. That, okay. that was it. Okay. But that's <laughs> so hard to do. Yeah, that's not, I mean, in the, in the heat of the moment, yeah. you know what I mean? That might not be where your mind wanders to. Yeah, you're like, dang, did I just really get down here? Like, that's probably what you think. <laughs> Did I get put in this situation by a single pellet? You really do be like that sometimes. Oh my god, oh, wow, wow. Kamehameha not able to maybe extend his speed as much as he would like to, but hey, he's got a healthy 80% on him, so we'll make it do what it do. That forward smash pack, the punch, man. Yeah, Killing Mega Man at 100% after the hit, that's it wild. It says a lot about a heavy character like Mega Man, too. And right now... That's like you pushing me through a wall. It just doesn't happen very often. <laughs> yeah. right? Maybe some drywall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cheap drywall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> man, it, it's so hard for Raido, though. Like, when, when Kameme has all the control with the saw blade in hand, it's like, oh, oh my goodness. goodness. He almost got up into the light, bro. Yeah, I'm saying, bro. Don't go into the light, Raido. The light into the darkness combo. It's a real thing. You got to be careful. Sometimes you just go right into the shadow realm, man. Straight up. Hard knuckle again. No, the flame sword is going to do it. Chopping it up, man. And Man, hang on, that move got bugged. Like, Kameme looking ex exceptional <laughs> right now. Yeah, doing work. I mean, up 2-0 now versus Raido. The Mega Man just seems so destructive 
to Raido. And I mean, we've seen Raido play throughout this top eight. I feel like every matchup we've seen him play, he can play his game. But against Mega Man, he has to play his game, but very much so different. You know what I mean? It's like the can doesn't get respected as hard because the Pell is just the pellets, the crash bombs. He has so many, so much ways yeah, to kind of just honestly, like Honestly, dude, the I'm telling you, like, it's the, it's the perfect counter matchup for when you're just trying to, to get through all those, those annoying zoning tools. Like, you have zoning tools of your own, and then at some points they can almost invalidate hits. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. And then, and your main zoning tool is can. It's so good. And the can and pretty much gunman, but gunman can be situational. Is it on cooldown? They just. Is he laying down? Is he chilling right now? You know what I mean? Like, help me gotta, out, bro. What you got to wonder. <laughs> help me out, bro. What you doing, man? Zero D. What am I paying you for? I got to know, man. <laughs> oh, and, wow. What a reaction there. And that, it's so crazy seeing both these setup characters and how they utilize their setup tools for these ledge traps, for these offstage situations, man. They're just two masters of the craft, honestly, but certainly has been Kamehameha getting the better of Raito. And we're seeing right now, I mean, this game three, this is just a full-on Demolition from Kamehameha. Wow, what like was that? that? Just, oh, dang. Short now, man. This is getting the biggest man in a new pair of jeans. Man, bro, like, what are you, what are you, what are you actually doing? <laughs> All right, so Rido's still living, though, man. One. He's having a tough time, but he's, he's able to hold on to the stock, which is really big. Ooh, that, yeah. I'm might sorry, have, man. Little commentator's curse on that one, bro. I had to do it to you, man. Certainly a blessing for Kamehameha. <laughs> He's in a he's in a fantastic situa uh, situation right now, especially with no rage on Raido as well. But dang, he might be hooking him up real quick with some rage. Oof. Quick thirty-one here for oh the Trump. Oh, I, I like the aggressive uh, decision right there from Raido. Sometimes oh, man. you can't you can't just always be doing that defensive stuff. Yeah, it's true. Oh dang, who got the crash bomb though? I start to wonder like if, if is, is he maybe choosing to try and adapt on the fly, maybe a, a bit oh, too late the setup from. Deep. We got the tools out here, man. Dude, Kamehameha, like, he had such a hard time killing him. That first time Kamehameha was like, all right, guys, hold on, I actually. Had, I had enough, man. He went straight into the woodshed, man, the wood chipper. You guys want to see You guys want to see death in the double digits? I got you, there fam. But Raido returning the favor, but man, is it too little too late to eat I mean, down an entire stop? Yeah, and uh, you know, with all the momentum that Kamehameha has, there's no knock against Raido, but I don't see him making this comeback. It just seems very unrealistic at this point. I've always been somebody to keep things into perspective. But hey, stranger things have happened, I yeah. suppose. I, I think Raido just has to, he, I, I feel like he's just going to have to really clutch out an edge guard or get a really, really good heart read here. Um, it, it's just tough because he can't really rely on Ken. We, we, what, what is Raido doing right now? He's not even, he barely used Ken. Well, he's going in. Because he knows, like, Kamehameha's making it a non-factor almost. Like, yeah, you're getting some, some utilization here, but that's why, because he's off the damn stage. <laughs> Man, I, I like the change of strategy Light here. Pitcher. Almost gets the back air, but the upper. Uh -huh. And Raido just really turning it around, just really switching up how he approached neutral there. And he essentially kind of just went in. Uh, and he went out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done to Kamebe. The 3-0 and Raido, uh, a little worse for wear than his face would have you believe. <laughs> Right, kind of tight, man. Nah, but <laughs> nah, of course, good. of course, it, it's all in good sport, man. Both the Japanese players, uh, man. Japan just incredible sportsmanship. I, I firmly believe the best sportsmanship out of any Smash region will always be Japan, and they also have like the best mentality because they just they don't compete for money. They they 